Uh, the objectives today is um, uh, the many. Uh, we, are, we are going to go deep in the, in the hypoglycemia unit, the glucose hemostasis in uterine, metabolic and endocrine adaptation at birth, the definition and what is the last definition and what the guidelines told us about the definition of hypoglycemia causes clinical manifestation investigation, screening and management strategy, and what is known about hypoglycemic brain injury. Um, in, in brief, I will, I will cover uh, the, the, uh, the first two points uh, briefly and then leave the screening for Dr. Um, Sida. Uh, the glucose hemostasis in utero, uh, as we know that the mother and fetus are, are, uh, are uh, treated as one unit. Uh, so the, the, the whole glucose of the fetus uh, were obtained from the mother and all the glucose in the fetus are obtained from the mother and they are stored it's stored uh, as a glycogen in the in many organs like liver heart lung skeletal uh, muscles uh, and and this uh, uh, glycogen and most of them are stored in the uh, last months of the uh, last our last uh, trimester of pregnancy what about the uh, after birth? Of course, after birth, there's cut of the uh, umbilical cord and there is an acute interruption of this procedure, of this diffusion of the glucose from the mother to the fetus. This acute interruption and, uh, uh, will, will cause the decline of the, uh, of the plasma glucose in the, uh, in the, in the serum of the, of the, of the, uh, of the newborn uh, and started the, the, maternal gluco uh, the, the maternal glucose, which is transferred to the uh, fetus, started to wash out and it's dipped, uh, hit the nether at, uh, after one or two hours after birth. And another could be 25 to 40 milligram per GF. And this, this uh, decline of the glucose will, uh, uh, will uh, uh, trigger the surge of, of, uh, of the hormones uh, release. It's uh, like uh, ticolamine, glucagon, corticosteroid, and others like TSH and growth hormone. All these hormones are going to uh, uh, to initiate gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis to stabilize the, uh, the glucose level at the serum of the newborn. This stabilization will take uh, some hours from three to four hours and then uh, to start to rise, to, to rise the, the, uh, the glucose in the serum. And then after 12 hours till 72 hours, till this adaptation is finished. And after this adaptation, should the glucose should remain steady above 50 milligram per GL after this adaptation. So this is to focus around the, the, uh, the hormones which are uh, regulated the, the stability of the glucose. It is the adrenaline, like we said, corticosteroid, glucagon, growth hormone, TSH, or arise, and the insulin will decrease because of the, uh, uh, to decrease the peripheral glucose utilization. And the counter uh, act uh, uh, regulatory hormones, they are increased to stimulate glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis and release of glucose and stabilize the glucose level. So what, what is going on if there is a defect in this adaptation? Could be the defect in the, uh, in the substrate itself, like the limited glycogen in the possession, or defect in enzyme, which are responsible for glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, or there is a dysregulation of the hormones, uh, instead of uh, the insulin being low, it's being high, high that, uh, causing hyperinsulinemia, or the counter uh, uh, regulatory hormone, instead of being increased, they are decreased. So all, any of these steps, if there is a defect in one of these steps, it will cause uh, hypoglycemia for the newborn. And we shouldn't, uh, uh, we shouldn't, uh, uh, forget that the, 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 even the healthy newborn, because of the high brain-to-body 
weight ratio, they, their demand for the glucose is high than the supply. So they need the, the glucose for their brain, uh, for their brain tissue and, 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 and the, the high brain to, uh, to body weight make their demand are very uh, uh, large. Uh, so what is the definition of the uh, hypoglycemia? Of course, there is no universally accepted definition for normal value because of the uh, values are influenced by uh, gestation, uh, birth weight, uh, postnatal age, and feeding practice. And each guideline um, has its, its definition, maybe more or less one milligram or, 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 or according to the, uh, to the hours, according to uh, it is a premature or a full term. And this will, uh, will be clarified by Dr. Uh, Sidham. The incidence even is uh, different. It is the 8% the incidence of hypoglycemia for large for gestation age infants and infants of diabetic mother and 15% for premature or uh, intrauterine growth retard. So thank you. I